Green Gales guilty of slow starts in the first two games. That's not the case here. Jeremy McWaters takes the pass from Jeff Fernandez, gets it right back, and he scores to give them a 2 to nothing lead. The buzz don't need longer apply to that one. Just over a minute later on the power play, Jaden Walcott finishes off the passing play, beating Liam Wynn, and that's going to make it 2-1 to one now for the home side. At the other end, time for Brady Kiernan to go to work. Now you know something, I think these Kiernan boys, they can play some lacrosse. Too bad there's no more of them left at home. Uh, enjoy it while you can. Green Gales break in on the transition. Tyler Sonicson doing the legwork here. Johnny LeClaire is going to mop up from close range. And that is going to make it 4-1. to one. The Buzz do cut into the lead. This is Nick Fulgenzi scoring from distance. Oakfield trailed 6-2 after the first. In the second, Fernandez picks out Connor Van Rin at the side of the goal. He shows some quick hands to make it 8-3. And that would be all for Vinny Tucci for now as Matt Huadani is going to make an appearance in goal for the Buzz. Big moment here is Josh Delero. He's going to pop his man in the open floor. The bucket comes off. Delero's going to get five minutes for charging. Oakville will have that full five to try to get a couple back. But it's the Green Gales and Brandon Porga getting on the board. Porga shorthanded to make it 7-3. Oakville, same power play win. He's going to stop Nate Brana getting an arm to it. Still the same power play. Brandon Lundy to Porga. Shorthanded goal. Same five-minute kill. He's got two shorties. How do you like that? Still in the second, Wynn bombs away here for Blake Lothian. He doesn't score many. I think that's his first uh, Green Gales playoff goal, and he's going to enjoy that one. And Jeff Fernandez, he scores a lot more often than that one, and he still likes doing it. Big smile on his face as he puts that one home, and it's 12-4 to for the Green Gales. Third period starts with some fireworks. A pair of 27s going at it. Owen Boyle for the Green Gales. Kyle Cannery for the buzz who gets the advantage in this one. Back to Deloria, still throwing the body. That one's crystal clean, no penalty. Shorthanded once again later on, Tyler Sonics into Porga again. Shorthanded for the third time in the game. Very, very well done. Late going now, Matt Anderson's gonna pull him back for the buzz. That's gonna make it a score of 18 to six. But the Green Gales take this one and it's series lead at two. To one. Yeah, for sure. We just wanted to come out strong, uh, come out fast, get the first one, which we did, and then we just wanted to keep building on it and not give them any uh, momentum. Like they came out real hard, game two, took a three nothing lead. So we wanted to wanted to step up and uh, come out strong. Yeah, you don't you don't see that often. Normally, we don't try and uh, shoot on the on when we're shorthanded, and Porg's just. Just took it and uh, did it himself, and he put three in the back of the net, and it was huge for us. Real, real uh, shut them down for sure. Well, it's a game of swings, and you got to take advantage of them. So they had the momentum, and what we had to do is just try to snatch it back, and I think we su su succeeded there. Yeah, we definitely hope that the uh, the series is over tonight, but we got to come out. We never know what could happen, and uh, lacrosse is a fun game to play. So anything could happen tomorrow, but we hope that we could steal the win and take home the series.